Oscar, seven years ago, you said, I'm only temperamental about writing lyrics, nothing else. And it hurts that here I am at 55, and I'm just learning my craft. How do you feel about it today? Well, here I am at 62, <laughs> and I'm still learning. And when I stop learning, I will quickly become old-fashioned. Mr. Hammerstein, you have a reputation in this business for being a most painstaking lyricist, carving words and phrases as if you were a sculpturer. Now, have you always been as careful as you appear to be today? No, I was not. In my younger days, I'm afraid I was, at the time, sloppy. I wrote a great many songs and shows. Sometimes I'd collaborate on three shows in one season. And I would write on trains and walking on the street and sort of prided myself on the speed with which I wrote. And when you write fast, you don't write very well. And I think nowadays, when I struggle and sweat and take much longer over a, a song, I think I do better work. And I don't think anyone who wants to call himself an artist should ever be careless, even if he thinks he can't be caught at it. Well, the thing that made a great impression on me on this subject, and that was a picture of the Statue of Liberty. I saw a picture of her in some Sunday supplement of a paper, and it was the back of her head. I'd never seen that before. And it was taken from a helicopter, obviously. And her hair was combed neatly. The sculpting was perfect. And I thought of the man who had designed it and what a great artist he was because in those days there were no helicopters and he knew it. And he also knew or thought he knew that once that statue was up that nothing would ever see the back of her head except a stray pigeon or some <laughs> bird or a seagull. And yet he finished off the job perfectly. And he was justified because long after he died, helicopters were invented, and he would have been caught if he had done a careless job. <laughs> and in Carousel, during the song, If I Loved You, the hero, Billy Bigelow, explains, on a night like this, I start to wonder what life is all about. Well, Mr. Hammerstein, you're obviously a man who's thought much on that subject. Now, have you reached any conclusions? Uh, no, I don't think... Uh a man who gets as old as I have become can say he's reached any conclusions because he becomes more and more puzzled and more and more fascinated by the mystery of life as he goes on living. My own feelings about life are toward the optimistic and hopeful side. And I don't know whether a man works out a philosophy or whether his philosophy emanates from his nature. But whether that's true or not, I think it's terribly important that some people like me must exist to keep affirming uh, the beauties of life uh, to offset others, even more eloquent perhaps, who are decrying life and scoffing at it and telling you what's wrong with it. Uh, surely there are things that are wrong, but then we must also admit that there are things that are right and beautiful and make it wonderful to be on earth. And uh, this is at least one of my chief aims. I think that today perhaps we lack this positive approach in other words, the world is quite a wonderful place. It's not perfect. But uh, as I say in the flower drum song, a hundred million miracles are happening every day. Everybody was born to advance the life in this universe. Nobody was born just to live all by himself or to do something all by himself. I couldn't stop being born and I can't stop dying except that when uh, I die, I think that many other things I've done will live on, and it all meshes somehow and winds up in the same thing, like so many drops of water in a river. Isn't that the feeling that you tried to get across in Carousel with the song, You'll Never Walk Alone? I think that the faith I think we should all have in ourselves and one another is in there. When you walk through a storm, hold your head up high and don't be afraid of the dark. At the end of the storm is a golden sky and the sweet silver song of a lark. Walk on through the wind, walk on through the rain, though your dreams be tossed and blown. Walk on, walk on, with hope in your heart, and you'll never walk alone. You'll never walk alone.